Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we'll talk a little bit about plywood jigs. When it comes to making custom jigs, we're not only a supplier but we're also our own customer. Now there's a lot of issues involved with making really good jigs. When I first started my business, we basically made all of the jigs out of acrylic and it works really well. But it does get brittle over a couple of years and what I started doing is actually making jigs out of MDF and plywood. Now those two options are really good uh, material choices for jigs and that's basically what we use for all of our jigs from now on. Now the nice thing about MDF, which is basically the same stuff we use a lot of make custom ornaments. Here's a simple little jig here we use for one of our customers here. So that's all MDF. The nice thing about MDF is it's very cost effective. It stays relatively flat. It can be cut into basically any shape, any size. It works really, really well. The advantage with plywood is that it has a little bit more uh, hardness or durability to it. And there's applications where we have materials that are a little bit harder to work with or, or sharp. Now MDF is basically a, cr a compressed dust and, a, and glue. And so let's say we're doing a whole bunch of jigs of, let's say scissors like this here, and they have to be open. Well, what happened with the MDF is that we'll slowly wear it out relatively quickly. But if we make them out of plywood, we don't have that issue anywhere near as badly. When it comes to making custom jigs, what you generally want to have is roughly one millimeter or one sixteenth, a little bit of play with the, the part. When, again, when I first started my company, we make our jigs, everything's totally perfect. And the issue is that, you know, sometimes you put a piece into the jig and it takes longer to put the piece in or take the piece out than anything else. Another thing we started doing with our custom jigs was actually making a backside and a backside with holes in it so we could push our thumb through it if something got stuck. But through the years, I've found that, you know, those are great little innovations, but really nothing beats just giving just a little bit of give. 
And you might think, oh my god, one millimeter, you, you'll be off for everything. But you won't, because it's one meter all the way around. So if it's moving by, let's say, less than a half a degree, either way, um, you won't notice, customer won't notice, you won't have any production issues with some, doing something like that. consider is how much volume are you using for that one shape let's say you had uh, this little angel here and you needed to make 10,000 of these things with uh, with a UV printer and you needed a specific name on each one of them now it might make sense to actually get two or three jigs made that are identical and the advantage to that is that while one is being made the other one can be loaded or unloaded and you have the other one as just a spare just in case or if you have another process afterwards to be done with the UV printer. Now sometimes we have customers where they have you know five of these, two of these and you know some scissors or you know whatever it is. It's just a mix and match of different materials. Well then we can make jigs that are a mix and match of different uh, shapes for the different materials as well. As for material thickness, um, we've never had any issue. We've made jigs that are you know literally half an inch thick. Uh, we've made some that are actually two inches thick out of some you know aerospace grade plastic stuff uh, but for our use in here we generally use one eighth mdf or one eighth or quarter inch uh, plywood depending on the weight of the material and that's something to keep in mind let's say we have a whole bunch of these things here which is a hole punch and it weighs a lot and you have a jig that's roughly the size here using three millimeter or one eighth mdf is probably a bad choice just because it can't hold weight very well but if you make it out a quarter inch or even half inch plywood, it's going to hold this and probably your whole body weight without an issue. So that's something else to keep in mind. So if you're looking for a custom jig, contact me at cncri.com.